Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Fishing Planet and the Congo River is live. I expected it uh, this week, early in the week after the smallest because what did I saw the first moment I was on the on the server that it was almost yeah complete. You feel that really quick. And the last couple of days they were working on the, the intro uh, of the of the new map. You guys can see it now too if you go in the game with the new boat and all that stuff. And then you know it's not going to take that long. So what I'm going to do in this video is... Uh, I'm going to give you guys uh, an overview with the Steam feed uh, here that they made on, on, uh, on, on Steam. Because... Yeah, there is a lot of stuff in it. I already made a video about it. Uh, so I will post this video under this uh, video, the link. Uh, I will post uh, the DLC, what is in the DLC too, under this video. So just check it out. It's from the beta server. I'm not going to do it once again. Because I don't like to make twice the same content. If we uh, yeah, looked at the, the, the news here... What I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you guys the DLC, because I bought the DLC at the moment, it's 30 euros, so it's decent, we got 10% off. And what is all in the DLC, because I can show you guys it now, I will show you guys too, because a lot of people are interested in some stuff too. How many bait coins do you get from equipment, because the net... If you are level 70, you're not going to use it because it's 420 and you got already a 621. So that's what I'm going to show you guys. Uh, but let's get started first. The new level cap is now 80 and at level 75 you can enter the Congo. So it's 5 levels higher, not anymore 3. And we go from, uh, from 5 higher to maximum to 10 higher. That's a lot. I'm not sure why they did it. Maybe they want to implement something in between later on. I don't know. But it's a lot of levels that you need to level. But I think uh, if you go uh, for the catfish in Bolivia. Or even the sturgeon. Or even the, the arapima in Amazonian. Or you go for the sharks. I know a lot of people go with a very low float setup. Uh, for the sharks in the Amazonian, but I really don't want to do that. They just need to fix that. Because you get so much experience, but I, I'm not going to make a video about it. Because for me, if you go with a 6 kilogram float rod, and uh, you're catching 150 kilogram trophy, but that's what I read on the forums, one of the best experience farms, but I'm not going to make it because it's, yeah, it's, it's so hard against my philosophy. I don't want to do that. But I can just say it to you guys. Maybe somebody else wants to make it, but I'm not going to do that. So that's a little bit of four things that I think that you can do. Sturgeon, uh, California, Bolivia catfish, uh, Arapima, Amazonian, and just sharks, bull sharks in Amazonian too. If you buy the DLC, I already got some nice videos out too, how you can level. I just uploaded the catfish, works really well, the Nile perch, uh, like uh, that's one position you can forward the time at night but i need to min max that a little bit the tiger fish are very good too there is a lot if you come there there is a lot of experience and money in the congo to get so if you come there you will see right away the leveling will be going really fast and you will make millions of millions of currency too so we got new tackles we got 70 unique african fish no competitions and achievements i didn't talk about that because why not? Because I don't look at them. Uh, I think that that if I'm on the test server and they invite me, what I do is never look at the competitions. Why not? Because I don't want to have an advantage. I'm, I will not enter competition in the new lake, the Congo River. Yeah, I think for this and two, three months for sure. Because I don't want to do that. Because that's an advantage. I know... There are people that, that only play competitions. They put a lot of time in it. And I can understand it. That they don't like it. So I'm not going to do it. You will not see me in it. I will not show it. And I will not participate for the next three months. Because it's a disadvantage for people that don't have access to the beta server. Then the graphic optimization and graphic improvements. And then bug fixtures. So here you can see the, the levels. I'm going to go a little bit f faster now. So you got seven locations. The cable ferry. The waterfall roar. Very nice place waterfall. That's a little bit the, the honey hole for the fish. You can get the Nile perch here. You can get the fat uh, catfish here. You can get the tiger fish here too. So for the guys 
that now enter the Congo, go to the waterfall, throw something out and you will catch fish and you will catch very, very big fish. Local school, uh, that's something that I uh, not yet fished. Uh, so Wild Island, just the same. I just went briefly through it with like uh, one of the new spoons, uh, but I didn't fish that much over here because, you know, I always go for the big fish, the high experience, the high money, uh, but never for the small ones because... Fishing Planet is, is a little bit more arcadey than, than other fishing games. So it's it's very hard driven to making a lot of experience, money, buying stuff. So you always go for yeah what pays the best and gives the most experience. Then the Bomuna settlement. Then the Forgotten Village. Uh, the Hanging Bridge is very cool. You can run around everywhere. And then here you got the new species. You can check them a little bit better in my other video. Goliath Tiger Fish, African Tiger Fish, Nile Perch, Cornish Jack. This one I already got unique species. Uh, African Pike, very small fish. One kilogram maximum African Sharp Tooth Catfish. Funda Catfish, the biggest one, 100 kilogram. Kampa Catfish, uh, they go very big too. Giraffe Catfish, did not get yet one. African Big Eye Catfish, uh, the same. Still need to catch one. The Yellowfish, the Congo Yellowfish. Red Nose, Labeo, Purple Labeo, Bandit, Tilapia, uh, Nile Tilapia. Uh, that's a little bit like crap as it looks. Then Bulldog Fish and the Elephant Fish. Then they talk a little bit about something that is in the water. I'm not sure why they are saying it. African Sedge. Uh, you can read it yourself. Maybe we need it for an achievement. Uh, because I'm not a really big fan uh, of achievements or missions and all that stuff. Therefore, I never make a video about it. Maybe I do it this time, but the chance is very small because I'm not sure what the, the reward is. If I get a nice spoon or something, I always want to do it. But otherwise, most of the time, I don't bother with them. Then something that I didn't uh, show you guys uh, and... Uh, I'm not going to show it, you know what, you already saw it, but if you don't want to get uh, surprised or if you don't want to uh, already know what kind of animals are in the African uh, lake, yeah, stop watching now because I'm going to show you guys it because I didn't want to do it because... There is such a big surprise if you see those animals because they are very well done. It's like that you're in like a zoo. Uh, they, they, yeah, they are very well done. Graphical, you guys will see it. Uh, if you see the first one, the hippos, it's very cool. You got the baby hippo, they come out of the grass. Uh, you, you are just standing there, it's like in a zoo. But it's not like one animal somewhere that is moving a little bit like the eagle in the past or something. No, or the alligator. No, now you feel you're, you're really in the habitat of those creatures. So we got the the hippo then we got the water buffalo i still need to see those uh then you got the crocodile then you got uh yeah a kind of bird i'm not sure what kind of bird this let me have a look is the name here the buffaloes the hippos and the crocodiles no there is no name but it looks like this it's like uh, a white bird uh, like yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I, I don't have a clue. It's a, it's a bird from there. Then the new tackles. You guys can see it. We got a new tackle box. We got a new vest. Uh, there is a new uh, tackle box, I think, too, for ground bait. Then we got three new rods. We got uh, a new bottom uh, branch, a new uh, match setup branch, and uh, a new uh, spinning. So you can see it here. The Nile Chasseur. Ecuador match and the Mokinzi. So you got them in all kinds of weights. So don't start buying everything at the start. Of course, if you got millions of millions, yeah, you can just do it. But you guys will see it here. The new reels, the giant spin, the Limpulsio and the Fileur. That are the new reels, all spinning re uh, reels. Then the new baits, we got African Giant Water Bug. Very good for the catfish. You will get it in the DLC too. If you go for the catfish, you guys will see it in the catfish video that I uploaded. Then you got the caddis larva and the banana bread. Then the buffalo kidneys, uh, the small tilapia. Very good, uh, but large minnows work good too. Because at the start, I don't think 
uh, if you go with the DLC, you get 20 of them, but if they are gone, just go large minnows. And then here are the kidneys, and then cannot meet. Flat spoon, we got two. And this is, is this X spinner one? That's the first time that I see this one. Work really well too, for the tiger fish, for the Nile perch, because there are a lot of predators in this water. Minnow grub works really well too. Ribbit chat, Nile perch works really well and then here we got the new missions so we got the congo uh nighty hunt you get a flat spoon from it cool that's maybe this flat spoon so this one i'm already going to do congo river exploration congo trial congo river catfish congo river catfish trophies and then the new achievements the congo uh vagebond that's uh, that's even dutch i think did they just took it from Dutch and translated it like this? Just the same like Dutch. Uh, and then two other. That's, uh, that I'm not going to pronounce that. Uh, because that's French. And <laughs> I don't... <coughs> Oh, sorry. I don't uh, I don't want to do that. But you guys can see it here. Maybe we can check it out when we go in-game. I'm going to check out achievements and the missions too. Then we got the Discovery Pack. The Congo Discovery Pack. I will talk about it in the next part of this video. Okay, guys, I'm now in the game, and uh, I just was uh, yeah checking a little bit, but I cannot show the missions, because I only see one mission. Because, yeah, I don't do missions, so I got so much missions still open. It's this one, but I thought there were three of them, so I cannot show you guys it. And with achievement, just the same, because it starts slow. Uh, so for the first achievements, you only get, like, a couple of boosts, so... I'm not going to show that, because I simply don't know enough about it, and I don't want to give wrong information but what i know is this so i'm going to show you guys the dlc and what i saw is there is only one dlc that's very strange because on the test server there were two dlcs it's possible that i missed it but there was a dlc for the boat and there was a dlc uh, for a spinning setup with uh, with uh, a jacket and all that stuff but i don't see it here I, I first thought it's here with the packs, the boat packs, but then I went to the sport packs. It's not he here either. So I'm not sure that we can have it. So it's only at the moment what I see is the boat pack. So not really sure that they didn't release it or something. But uh, yeah, I, I cannot find it. Because there was something African in the name and I don't see it here. But let's talk now about this pack. So I bought this pack already. So what do you have in the pack? Uh, so you got 20 bait coins. You got 30 days premium. You got a bottom setup and a match setup. That are the new rods. You can see it on the on the weight. Then you got the filler and the l'impulsion. That are the new reels. Then you got the, the new boat. Uh, I will put a video under this video about this boat for the guys that want to have a look at it. There is one thing that they added and I think a lot of people will be happy with it because a lot of people found that uh, very irritating. Then we got lines, we got leaders, we got sinkers, we got bells, uh, we got hooks. And then we got a lot of uh, baits, a couple of the new baits too. You guys can see it here. Uh, yeah. That's uh, and then we got the net. But normally, if you're level 70 and you start leveling up, uh, yeah, you will sell this net because you got now access to the 620 at level 70. But for guys that are lower level and come here, it's maybe not that bad because I think if you buy this pack and you come here, you will level up really fast because you get two rods that can handle. Uh, the fish here and you can fish from the boat and there is a lot of experience and money in this area but i i will sell this but i will show you guys right away how much bait coins that you get from it then we got marker boys you got extra slot in the storage you got templates you got the pass for 30 days so you can enter 30 days without being level 75 and then you got an advanced license for 30 days too so now we going to look for a brief moment uh, to the net how much do you get from the new net let's have a look uh, here so that's 396 bait coins how much do you get for the new boat i'm not sure that anybody is going to sell the new boat because you got two rod holders uh, you got now a trolley motor at the front too so but i will show you guys it 
so here it is if you sell it 540 so that's around 900 paid coins for the net and the boat and that's it one thing that i want to show you guys more uh the the last thing that they changed on the boat and then i'm going to end the video because all the other stuff i already got in a video and uh i'm not going to make it again because making two times it's just the same if they change now something on the release i could think okay let's switch it around and make it again but i'm not going to do that because i want to play the game uh, I'm, I'm very excited to start leveling, uh, going to here, have a look how it works uh, on the live server, uh, uh, the graphical engine, because they upgraded it too, and all that stuff, so uh, I want to start playing. So, uh, so the last thing that I showed you guys is, for the guys that said the last time uh, about the sonar, the sonar was here, and a lot of people said on my comments, uh, yeah it's going to be very hard and i can understand that because if you go around and you always need to look like this to the sonar uh that's not handy but now the sonar is in front so it's good so uh that was it guys have fun in the congo very good lake not that big you will have a lot of fun in it uh and uh yeah it's it's uh it's the first time i think in four area releases that i got something from i want to play this a lot not, not sure why, but uh, I didn't have the same feeling with Sound America. But with this, it's smaller. There is a lot of species. It's alive. The graphical engine is here. New uh, equipment. So my body is ready. And uh, I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.